what's up guys uh this is sam again uh from live production tips and tools in today's video i'm going to show you um a cool thing actually how you can um, make some graphics uh, like lower thirds add logos to your live stream using facebook live and obs okay so with that taking much time let's get right into it all right so as you can see i already have my uh, obs open and um i have uh, my facebook page as well uh open so i have some scenes that i've created before and i'm i'm gonna go ahead and uh, duplicate this uh, scene which is basically my audio my usb microphone and my uh, main camera which is i'm using my phone right now to record this and uh a little background so as you can see it's just an image that i uh, put behind myself and uh, that's the scene that i have right now okay so let's go ahead and pretend that we were going live uh on facebook and go to my page and uh let's go to publishing tools and go to under tools go to creator studio and um go to creative tools once you're there you should have this live dashboard um, kind of thing. So all you have to do, you go to set up a live stream. This is where you go if you were going to live stream on, on Facebook, right? So, so once you get here, as you can see, you have all this uh, dashboard to set up your live stream, okay? So now let's go here to... Um, graphics okay we're not going to set up our live stream okay right now uh we are more interested in this part okay so let's go to graphics and this is actually where you'll be able to set up your graphics like lower thirds uh let me show it to you actually so um go to this let's pick a theme okay or a package they call it a package so let's let's pick um roundy mc corners mc corners or make corners i don't know okay so let's go to roundy so as you can see it gives you an example of what it will look like okay if I had chosen, for instance, station, it will look like this. Okay, so it's basically different styles. Density, uh, simple. Okay, so let's go to roundy like that. Okay, so this is just a simple preview of what it would look like. However, it won't let me uh go ahead until i put some information okay so let's say call this uh, live stream um let's say test live stream and description let's call it test okay so now it lets me continue okay so let's say continue so now it's asking me to select a color uh, scheme so let's go ahead and select so i like this blue but again it would depend on what you like so let's pick this blue um and uh as you can see i have a link here okay so this link is very important. This is the link we are going to use uh, within OBS. Now, as you can see here is telling me or asking me to create a graphic, okay? So this is where you're going to pick the kind of graphic that you want to create. For this video, let's um, create a lower third, okay? 
and the title is going to be my name so let's put sam okay and subtitle let's call it um live production tips and tools okay and let's save okay so this one is created now if i hit it doesn't appear here okay so for it to appear i have to click publish and as you can see it's there and there's a little bit of you know there's a little animation so if i say unpublish i click unpublish it's gone so say click publish it's there okay so now let's copy this link or we can even drag and drop uh in obs okay but for the purpose of this video let's just copy it and go to obs i'm going to take my scene here and uh duplicate so i'll call it lower thirds lower thirds okay say okay all right so i'm going to add a source on the top of whatever i have right now which is going to be um a browser okay say click okay okay and now i'm going to paste my uh, url from facebook so paste okay um the rest of the settings just keep it the way it is honestly don't have to change anything say click okay okay as you can see my lower third is already there okay make sure it's on the top and all i have to do is to kind of resize it to whatever i like okay so they say I mean this is not a good picture uh for this is not a good video sorry to kind of show what it would look like okay but if i was like kind of like talking like this and you got my lower third you know appear something like here see so see as you can see it looks good okay so now if i go back to facebook and click on publish come here so you can see it's gone right so if i say let's take this uh scene to if we were live streaming for real um let's go to take it to program so uh sorry i did fade to black let's fade okay so this is me talking and go to Facebook and click publish okay and it will look like this okay hello guys my name is Sam from Live production tips and tools and welcome to my channel okay and whenever you're done all you have to do is unpublish okay and it's gone so basically this will work well if you have two monitors okay because you can have one monitor to kind of uh, have your facebook page uh, kind of thing open right or you can kind of minimize it like this okay so let's say something like this you know but it's not practical if you have one monitor okay so if you're working with one monitor it would be something like this okay so be like hey guys uh, my name is sam from red production tips and tools and boom uh, the lower third will appear and then you will talk you say everything you need to say blah 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 and when you're done all you have to do you just click and publish and it's gone as simple as that okay so now keep in mind you have more than just uh lower thirds okay so as you can see i have options here to add more graphics let's say um 
let's say you can choose to add um, a ticker or a logo okay this this add a logo okay uh, it's gonna ask me to upload an image and I'm going to go to my logos here I believe this one should do let's just uh, choose this one I don't know what it will look like but let's try it say so click save okay and let me publish it and see what it looks like no this is the wrong one there you go so this is my logo okay as you can see it appears uh in the corner here and if i wanted to actually let's kind of resize it um i can resize it put in the corner somewhere here you know or here anywhere i want and i can kind of resize it make it a little smaller you know so it makes it it makes sense so as you can see if i click uh fade as you can see my logo now is in a corner here okay obviously this is not my base logo so i guess this will look better save uh and publish this one let me publish this one yeah so this this looks better uh except uh the color okay but anyways this these are things that you work on i just wanted to show you how it would work okay so as you can see you have more options and uh, i don't want to go you can even have a full screen image uh you can have a ticker an intro so like you have so many things you can do and for the purpose of this video i don't want to be doing all that kind of stuff for now but i uh, will let you go there and play with it be creative and see what you can get from uh, this tool from facebook okay keep in mind you don't need to be uh, live streaming as you can see i'm not live streaming yet and it's working in obs which means if i wanted to i could actually go live um using obs and uh, actually go live on youtube and use this lower thirds see you don't even have to be using facebook or if you want you can still use facebook so basically i would say it's fair to use it for facebook live uh, if you you are live streaming on facebook um however it does not say that you can use it for youtube live stream as well so you can set up your logos your lower thirds and go live on youtube as well or if you know how to to live stream on multiple platforms at the same time all you need to do is to be able to bring in graphics into obs and whatever feed you have in obs send it for live streaming to any platform okay if you want to know how to live stream uh, on facebook or youtube uh, using obs make sure you check my playlist right here on the top if you want to learn in general how to use obs i've done a lot of videos about it make sure you check them out thank you guys for watching i hope you learned something from this video and if you have questions let me know put it down in the comments i'll be more than happy to help you out again thank you so much for hanging out with me and i'll see you on my next video take care